NASA, sun activity has reached its maximum. NASA and NOAA have officially announced that the sun has reached a maximum duration of activity that can last for the next year. This means that in the coming months you can expect storms geomagnetic, solar flares and aurora. Representatives of NASA, NOAA, National Administration Oceanic and Atmospheric, and the International Panel Forecasts of the Cycle Solar Cycle Prediction Panel SCPP announced that the sun is finding the sun you get to the maximum of your activity. Specialists have suggested that the maximum the sun could have started two years ago, long before they predicted these are preliminary predictions of the solar cycle. They also added that solar activity it will probably remain high for another year. The sun on a daily basis from the perspective of the Earth seems to be enough it's calm. But researchers have long since determined that our star is passing 11-year activity cycles, with a clearly defined minimum and maximum. In the years 1826-1843 German amateur amateur Heinrich Schwab observed the Sunday, discovering that it rotates around its own axis once every 27 days. He realized, that in 11 years the sun passes from periods of silence in which it is not visible no sunspots, up to the maximum phase where you can see them lots of people. The first full solar cycle based on archival data from years 1755 to 1766 was described by the Swiss astronomer Rudolf Wolf. It was a cycle of activity solar number one with the number one. The solar cycle is the natural cycle of the sun in which it passes it is between low and high magnetic activity. About every 11 years, in peak at the end of the solar cycle, the sun's magnetic poles alter I'm. I'm. It's as if the north and south poles on Earth are switching in the places. During this time, there are changes in the number and sunspot size or radiation intensity. Maximum of activity our star reaches 3 to 5 years after the start of a new cycle. For the next years, activity decreases until the next cycle begins. NASA and NOAA track sunspots to determine and predict the course of the solar cycle and ultimately solar activity. Solar stains are cooler areas on the sun caused by concentration lines of magnetic field. They are a visible component of active regions, areas of intense and complex magnetic fields on the sun, which are the source the solar eruptions. During the maximum solar number of sunspots, and thus, the amount of solar activity is increasing, said Jamie Favors of NASA. And this increase in activity provides an exciting opportunity to get to know ours the nearest star, but also causes real effects on Earth and the whole our solar system, he added. Solar activity strongly affects the conditions in space, the so-called space weather. This may affect satellites and astronauts in space as well as systems communication and navigation, such as radio and GPS and power grids on the Earth. During maximum solar activity, the space weather becomes less predictable, and phenomena such as the aurora are more common. Announcement of experts does not mean that we have a peak of activity the sun. Although we have a period of solar maximum, the month in which ours the star will reach its peak, it will not be identified as quickly. It can be done it will determine only after tracking a constant decrease in solar activity, that will follow the summit. Researchers emphasize that every solar cycle is another other. Some cycles reach peak for longer and shorter periods, while others have weaker peaks of activity, but last longer. Sunspot activity in the 25th solar cycle she exceeded our expectations, Lisa Upton of Solar Cycle said Prediction Panel and the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, Texas. However, despite the observation of several large storms, they are not bigger than we could expect in the maximum cycle phase, she added. NOAA predicts additional solar and geomagnetic storms in the current solar maximum period, which may result in the auroras in, in the next few months. If storms are strong, they can do the damage to satellites. In December 2019, when NASA announced the launch of a new one, 25. Solar Cycle, SCPP predicted that the solar maximum probably it will start around 2025 and will be relatively weak compared to the previous cycles. But it turned out that the maximum came earlier. Under the, the end of 2022 and early 2023, signs of solar activity, such like the number of sunspots and the frequency of solar flares, they began abruptly to grow. According to scientists from NASA and NOAA, the last two years on the sun they were part of the active phase of the solar cycle, due to the ever-present large the number of sunspots during this period. 
Researchers predict that the